What exactly is marijuana? The marijuana plant contains 400 different chemicals. The one that exerts the greatest effect on the human body is called delta 9 tetrahydrocannabinol, or THC. It can be taken in a number of different ways, the fastest and most common of which is inhalation. When marijuana enters the body, the cannabis acts on receptors called cannabinoid receptors, causing a decrease in the release of neurotransmitters called GABA and glutamate. When marijuana enters the bloodstream, it exerts a number of short-term effects, including deficiencies in basic motor control, working memory, and executive function. It makes the user feel euphoric and experience an altered perception of time. The long-term effects of marijuana are less clear. The good news is, studies have not found a link between long-term moderate marijuana use and mortality. Although there have been studies to show worse neurocognitive outcomes for individuals who began smoking marijuana earlier in life, some studies have shown that cannabinoids can trigger schizophrenia and increase the symptoms of psychosis. Because marijuana is often inhaled, there are concerns that long-term use of recreational and medical marijuana could have an adverse effect on the lungs, similar to cigarettes. However, cannabis has not been found to cause a number of the cancers caused by tobacco, including lung cancer and colorectal cancer. In fact, cannabis has been found to kill several cancer types, including lung cancer. Furthermore, a 2012 study looking at the effect of marijuana use on pulmonary function found that occasional marijuana use was not associated with any decrease in pulmonary function. Marijuana has been consistently shown to help with a range of diseases, and many of its users are singing its praises for what it's done for their quality of life. But it's important to keep in mind that the long-term effects of marijuana are still largely unknown, and it's important to weigh the benefit of the drugs against the risk.